What's up YouTube, this is uh, Effect aka Zertrix and today I'm going to bring you guys a short tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be uploading a lot of tutorials on my channel. I'm going to start out simple and then eventually my tutorials are going to be more advanced for the more advanced graphics designer. Um, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do guidelines such as these one, these right here. See the guidelines. A lot of people have been doing it lately on their background. It's pretty popular. Uh, I try not to do it as much because a lot of people do it, but if you're just wondering how to do it, um, patterns like those, um, a lot of people use them in the backgrounds these days, and a lot of people have been asking me and other people how they get those lines on the background, and I'm just going to basically show you how to make them and save them. So what you want to do is file, and then hit new, and then you hit uh, 5 pixels in width, 5 pixels in height, OK. And then you want to take the little magnifying glass tool, and then you want to try and right click it, fit on screen. Then you want to make a new layer, hit the little eyeball on the white layer, on the background layer. Choose a little rectangular square tool, and then you want to make a diagonal, or just make a little square right there. And then fill it in with black, or whatever color you want. And you just want to make a diagonal line. Uh, you can mess around with the patterns a lot, there's like a lot of things you can do with the patterns. So uh, just feel free to just like mess around on there, just try and get any kind of patterns you want. But um, this one I find really nice, and most people find really nice on their backgrounds. And uh, after you're done making it, you want to hit Edit, Define Pattern, name it whatever you want. I'm just going to type in some random letters. And then go to your background, and then double click the layer that you want to put the pattern on, and hit Pattern Overlay, and then hit the little pattern button. And then search your your pattern that you just saved should be all the way at the bottom. Then you hit OK. It looks a little bit weird right now because I'm not in actual pixels. But let me go to actual, and then it looks good. I don't know if it looks good to you guys on um, YouTube because you're in 1280 by 720 and this is a lot bigger than 1280 by 720. But um, I'll put a little picture in the description or I'll put an example so you guys could see how the how the scan lines or whatever you want to call them how they look. They look real good. But um, yeah, that's basically all I have for you guys today. It's just like a short tutorial. Like I said, um, my tutorials are going to be more advanced in the future. Um, I am experienced in doing this. I mean, I had another channel. I did some tutorials on there. So look forward to some pretty good tutorials and uh, GFX videos such as progression, speed arts, uh, just anything like that. And um, occasionally some gaming videos such as Minecraft and Call of Duty and stuff like that and edits. So yeah, I am out YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the video and the tutorial, I hope it helped you. Please don't forget to like and favorite and comment, I'm out.